Hey guys, it's Sherry Vegas and welcome back to my channel or if you're new, hello. And today I'm going to be showing you a fun little experiment I did with resin and inks. So I hope you guys all enjoy. On my already primed wooden board, I'm just applying some white resin over the top of the surface. This resin that I'm using is from Just Resin. So in this experiment today, I'm going to be putting tints and inks on top of the resin surface and then using a blow dryer to blend them on in. Now I just wanted to see how they would react when they're not actually pre-mixed into it, when they're just placed on top of the resin. So for this experiment, I'm using a few different colours and I'm using um, the liquid tint from Artie Sue's, then I'm using the Just Resin tints. And then I also used an acrylic based ink just to test out and see how they all went together. So I'm just applying the inks randomly in all different spots and then just using my blow dryer to start to blend them into the white. And as you can see it's already creating a really cool effect and pattern and I was really happy with how this turned out in the end. With this style, I found that you have to keep going back in and reapplying the tints because sometimes they don't quite show up. I found that Artie Sue's liquid tints work the best. That's the deep um, pink colour. And the Just Resin tints kind of sat on the surface. They were okay, but they didn't absorb into the resin as well as I would want. And the same with my acrylic based ink colour. It didn't absorb into the resin but the artist you tints really worked well. This is a really fun little experiment, so if you're liking this tutorial, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, and if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. I post new videos every week. I would say when I go to do this next time, because I did really love how this turned out at the end, so I definitely will be trying this again, I would let the resin sit for about 10-15 minutes, just so it starts to not be as liquidy, and then apply the tints, because I did find as it was setting, a lot of it started to pour off the sides, um, and the patterns became a little bit different, so I think I would let it set a little bit, just so that way I don't have too much movement in my resin. I would also probably only use the Artie Sue's tint range because um, I found that they worked best but I definitely will keep trying different brands of tints just to see. I would also recommend that once this layer has set I would go back in and what I did is just apply a clear coat of resin just to make sure that any inks that were still on the surface or any tints um, aren't going to like transition and rub off so that's why I just went over the top with a clear coat of resin once this layer had set, just to make sure everything was locked in. And then just with my blowtorch, I went over really fast and lightly, because I just didn't want to affect the inks, um, just to pop any resin bubbles. I do find the Just Resins um, resin that I am using, it doesn't get a lot of bubbles, so it works really well. So if you like this quick little resin tutorial, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and follow me on Instagram under Sherry Vegas and I sell all of my work on Etsy, Resin Art by Sherry.